Hello everyone and welcome back to unit 5 uh, functions and in this video we are going to have solve this question. I would again recommend you guys to go through the question yourself, try to solve it out and after go uh, and after you can check the solution through this video only. Then the question we are having here is write a C function to find the roots of a quadratic equation. So we need to find the roots of a quadratic equation and uh, we need to for write down a function for that and for this I am going to use quadratic uh, equation or if quadratic formula you can say quadratic formula to solve the quadratic equation so here is the formula and formula says if this is the general form of the quadratic equation then the roots can be described through this formula where, where b square minus 4ac is the discriminant and there is one more thing about the discriminant or this value b square minus 4ac that if uh, that if the this value is greater than zero, then roots are going to be real, and if the root uh, and if this value is less than zero, then roots are going to be imaginary, and if the this is uh, equal to zero, then ro roots are going to be equal. Okay, so we need so we simply need to accept a b c value from the user, and we will calculate the value of uh, x through this formula itself. It is very obvious we are going. We need a square root function for solving this, and that is why we need to include uh, math dot h library. So we I have included math dot h, and now I I am going to declare the very uh, the functions. Okay, we are going to write down the prototype of the function. So I am writing two function. First function is going to so first function is going to um, calculate the discriminant or you can say b square minus 4 is ac value and according to that we then we will going to use use that discriminant value to calculate for the roots okay so uh, it is very obvious the roots can be uh, a floating point number and value of abc are generally integer but we are but it can also be floating point number so for a discriminant function we need three variable as an input b a and c okay so first of all the we expect a floating point number to be the output of the discriminant <coughs> and i am naming it as disc and its parameter are going to be for three floating point number float okay sorry float 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 and now I'm going to write down the prototype of the root function which is simply going to calculate the root and uh, it will accept the value of a b and c float 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 let's now declare there or what are the uh, statement they are going to follow or write down we are writing the declaration part now going with the float point going with the disc, uh, discriminant first let's copy this directly and I need to specify the variables also a b and C. So, what we should expect as an output? So, it is it should return the value of uh, this value b square minus 4ac. That we can write it as b square b multiplied by b square minus 4 minus <coughs> 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c. So it will calculate this value and this value and it is going to return this value okay. So this was a quite simple let's have the definition of uh, float or uh, root function. Here is a b c. So we need to calculate this value and 
first of all let's take an floating point number d which will be the discriminant and we are going to disc calculate discriminant through this function a b c i am giving the output a b c to that i am going to get the discriminant in return okay uh, now we need to um, now we need to calculate the roots all roots itself but before that i am going to uh, add a if statement if if d is less than 0 if d is if d is less than 0 we need to print out print out roots roots sorry roots are not real okay and else 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 if d is double equals to zero in that case we only need to calculate a single value and that would be uh, <coughs> either we can calculate the plus value or minus value in either of the cases we are going to get the same result okay so the since the this value is going to be zero then the roots will be minus b by 2a so root is going to be minus b by 2a so let's have one more variable uh, float r1 for root 1 r2 for root 2 ok r1 e will be equal to minus b by minus b divided by 2 multiplied by a and I'm going to print out we have percentage f as the double root of the given equation okay and at the end else we need to calculate both the roots and r1 is going to be a minus b plus minus b plus square root function sqrt square root function and then d and divided by 2a and r2 will be I'm simply copying it and I need to have a minus in the sign in here and I will print out the roots are percentage F and percentage F Oh, I have not specified the variable in here and R1 comma R2 and I guess root function should not return anything because we are printing the statements out only so I am taking void as the input in here and I again need to specify void here okay because I am printing the answers in the functions itself and we need to need not to return anything and we cannot return more than one value so in case of two roots we cannot return two roots with the same function ok so this is going to calculate I guess this is going to work very well and uh, now we need to write something in main function uh, print let's uh, specify the quadratic equation first quadratic equation will be of the form a a x to the power 2 plus b x plus c equals to 0 
the next line printf enter the value of a for the above equation above equation and we need to scan the values first of all we need to declare three variables float a comma b comma c okay scan f okay this is sort of some other function scan f percentage f address of a okay and similarly we need to enter all the three values b and c and b and c i hope everything is done now everything is done now we have a function in here and we have a function that is going to calculate the roots itself and this function is using another function that calculates the discriminant and the input of that function is same as given to this input and that is basically all we need to do and we need to call the function at the end now that function is going to calculate the root a b c and the point to be note here the a b c written over here are different from the a b c used in the functions itself because these a b c are uh, for this main function whatever the value of the a b c that we are going to enter is going to be uh, going to be given to the root function and that same value is going to be given to this function and uh, all the things i going i think will go smooth now let's run the function let's run the program sorry so we need to enter the value of a let it be 1 a square let it be 2 and let it be 1 so we should expect that the uh, roots to be the equation will be a square plus 2x plus 1 so root should be minus 1 i guess okay we have minus 1 as the double root of the given equation okay so we are of the given equation so we we have uh, received the correct or uh, you can see the output and we can run this program once more let it be 45 54 5 and maybe 22 roots are not real okay roots are not real so this was all about this video and see you in the next lecture